So we are here on the mountain, uh, homestead on the mountain. I'm Nathan. Uh, we are prepping to get this uh, piping done for our microhydro that we've been anticipating for a long time. Um, we got the, the turbine, uh, the motor, and all that sent out. It was going to get rewound, um, but we're just uh, going to upgrade to a, a better system that's going to incorporate our our needs better. Our, that motor that I got was just way too much voltage for the PSI that this pipe is going to be pushing out. Um, so we're going to get this all stretched out, get it laid out as flat as we can while the sun's out, and uh, we'll get it drugged down into the mountain, get it all hooked up. We've got to work, work on that. It's going to be about 100, almost 300 feet down into the, into the woods, so it's going to be a, a nice little hike for all this struck, uh, stretched out here. Uh, we're gonna work on that, get that done. Can't wait until we get this thing spun up and see what kind of power we're gonna get out of it. And, uh, so let's get that done, and we'll we'll show you along the way how it works out. All right. So as I unroll these uh, poly pipes, uh, I'm gonna give a sh shout out to uh, Seth from Land House. He's been uh, a great help on acquiring this material. He's the one that's going to be sponsoring this this high, micro hydro build, um, along with the help uh, from Spencer uh, from Langston Alternative Power. Uh, them two have been a great help on getting this accomplished, um, and it's definitely going to be a great help for our power needs up here living off grid. So thank you, Seth and Spencer. There's a lot of work to take. So, uh, we did get a little kink in the, one of them, but we kind of squeezed it out with a pair of channel locks. Uh, hopefully that won't cause a problem. We won't have to snip it and put a connector in it. Um, but we got them all stretched out. And uh, got them in the heat, so they'll be nice and flexible when we start pulling them through the woods. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, I think. But we're going to try to go up as high as we can, and we can pull them down. Kind of go with gravity, I guess you'd say. Um, the incline is, uh, oh gosh, another 600 feet up. I think it is. So 600 feet up, and then we'll bring them down 600 feet. Um, we're actually going to meet the end of it to our actually... Uh, our water pickup for our drinking water and you know, all our amenities there. So I'm going to end there with the, with the turbine there and get all that set up there. So we're going get to it, get it going, get it done. This says what happens on the homestead whenever you go to do a project. We're heading down there to get some work done at, at the river. And he gets all tangled up into a tomato thing. How'd you get in there? Goodness. Are you playing games with it? Yeah, your legs are all up in there too. Oh my goodness. Get that foot through. Get that foot through. Now you're hit. Alright. Woo! Alright, another delay. Don't do that again. Alright, I'll get my hand out of there. Then I'm going to use this stainless steel hose clamp. Nice. And now we have. Okay. 
White water rafting. All right. It's a second hole for the other inlet. inlet. Yeah. that other side down there for now but right yeah we'll get that valve on here in a minute all right it's time to get our barb fitting here on the poly pipe probably won't hold that yet. <laughs> okay look so I'm gonna heat it up with the torch here Force always works. Cut it. All right. Nice. This is low pressure here anyway, so it shouldn't have much of a problem. Film if you want to stick it on there. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh yeah. We may have to pull it off because there's going to be water. 
water's going to come out the other end. Oh, yeah. Pretty quick. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Got it. Start the stopwatch. We'll just do one pass and call that 22 seconds. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Digging, putting some plastic in the hole, We've got it all installed. Uh, two inch pipe, or actually inch and a quarter down to our barrel. Got that all set up, and our pipe going all the way down the mountain, all the way to where our turbine's gonna be. And after a little bit of work, actually a lot of work, toting everything up and down, we uh, got it complete. We'll probably do a little upgrade if this doesn't work out as, as we hope but I think it's going to work out fabulous. Uh, and that's it. So we'll get down to the uh, end of it and uh, we'll get the turbine uh, hooked up, get how much PSI we have. And, uh, hopefully our motor and everything will come in and get that hooked up and see how many watts we're actually pushing. So until next time. Mm -hmm.